Hi, I'm Robert, and in this video, I'm going to edit these images I took at a Streets of Willow track day. Let's get started with this image of a CGT. We're going to start at the bottom, make sure we're at the current version. We'll skip post crop vignetting for now. We'll go up to constrain crop and press auto. We will let Lightroom straighten this image. Next up, as always, we'll remove chromatic aberrations and enable profile corrections. I was shooting this with the Canon 70 to 200 f2.8. Now let's sharpen this image. We'll do our normal sharpening of 100 and applying a mask. Hold down the Alt key so we can see our mask. We'll sharpen everything but the sky. Let's skip the color panel and we'll go straight up to our basic panel. I like the white balance and exposure. Let's bring up the shadows just a little bit. And we'll set our white point and black point. I adjusted both the white point and the black point until they were clipping and then backed it down. Now let's crop this image. That looks good. Now let's grab a brush and work on the sky. Make sure you have auto mask enabled and let's brush in the sky. Press down O so we can check out our overlay and see what we're affecting. Auto mask makes it super easy. We can press O to turn it off. Let's reset our tools by clicking effect. I want to make this sky more blue, so let's bring the tint down a little bit. And we'll also bring the saturation up. And finally, I'll bring the exposure down just a little bit. Let's click on new and let's brush in the foreground and the track. We spilled over a little bit, so hold down the Alt key to turn your brush into an eraser. Let's press O to get rid of the mask. We'll reset all of our fields by double-clicking Effect. To draw the eye into the cars more, let's lower the exposure in the foreground. That looks good. Let's take a look at the settings of this image. I shot it at 1 25th of a second at f14. I wasn't using any filters for this image. If I had a filter on, I would have been able to use a lower f-stop. The autofocus struggled with this image because the car was turning and coming towards us at the same time. Alright, let's move on to the next image. This is my friend's 2007 Honda S2000. I also have a 2007 S2000 in the same color. Let's get started editing this image down at the bottom. We're at the current version. We'll skip vignetting for now. Let's go up to Constraint Crop, press Auto. Let Lightroom take care of the straightening. Just like the other image, we'll click on these two boxes and we'll add our sharpening. Hold Alt for the mask. That looks good. And let's scroll up. We'll skip the colors for now. The car is quite blown out because it's white on a bright sunny day, so let's bring the highlights all the way down. Now we have all of our details back. Let's set our white point by bringing it up a little bit. We'll go to 35. Now let's crop this image. Right there works. Last time we used the brush tool on the sky, so this time we'll use the gradient tool. I'm gonna click here in the middle of the sky Hold down shift and drag down the brush. I'm using a wide gradient with a soft drop off. We can visualize that by pressing O. Now we can see what parts of the sky are going to be affected. Let's reset our settings by double clicking effect. Let's make this sky bluer by bringing the temperature down. And the saturation up. And we'll darken the sky a little bit. And I'm going to adjust the temperature a little bit more. Same goes with the saturation. I like how that looks. We have a nice gradient sky from dark blue to a lighter blue to almost white right above these mountains. Now let's grab our brush tool. And we're going to brush the foreground like we did in the other image. 
just to darken it a little bit. We already have negative 0.3 applied, so we'll stick with that. To draw the eye in a little bit more, let's add a vignette to this image. The vignette will draw your eye towards the center of the image where the car is. And lastly, let's add a little bit more contrast to this image to really make it pop. I like how that turned out. Now let's go to this final image of my friend's Miata. Let's work our way up from the bottom. We're on the current version. We'll let Lightroom take care of the straightening. We'll click these two boxes as usual, and we'll add our sharpening. We'll be returning to split toning in a minute, but let's go up to our basic panel and bring the exposure up. Let's also bring our shadows up so we can get a little more detail in the car. Now we'll crop the image. And let's go down to split toning. I want to add a brown tone to the whole image. So let's click on highlights and we'll go around here. And we can fine tune it here in the sliders. So hue is adjusting the color. We can see we can affect the color of the highlights here. We'll bring it to 36 and saturation is going to be how powerful it is. So here's very little. And then here's a stronger tone. And lastly, we're going to change the balance, bring it more towards the highlights. So let's see a before and the after. We're already at after, so let's take a look at the before. Here's before and after. And one last thing I want to do is to bring down the saturation to have this image look a little more muted. I like the feel of this image. I think it has a nice desert vibe and lets you know how hot it was outside. Let's take a look at the settings for this image. It was shot at 1 1 60th of a second. You can see even at this quick shutter speed we were still able to capture some motion in the rims and the background. I was trying slower shutter speeds but wasn't having any luck getting sharp images. So I thought it was a better idea to use a slightly faster shutter speed so I could get sharp images. I hope you liked this video. Please like and subscribe. Thanks.